What's up everyone, Gabe from JMK Ride here, and today we're gonna to be going through the top 10 most popular tricks on free skates. So depending on your skill level, not all of these tricks are gonna be new to you, but for each trick, I'm gonna give my own personal tip for practice, as well as link to the tutorials for each one down below. Also, I tried to design this list from easiest to hardest of the most popular tricks. So the first on that list is a flip stomp, or just a stomp in general. This, I would say, is the most common trick you see on free skates, because once you get to a certain skill level, it becomes pretty much the way everyone gets going, whether it be a stomp, a flip stomp, a double flip stomp. Both the stomp and the flip stomp are really fast ways to get going on free skates, as well as they're flashy. For both the stomp and the flip stomp, I would say make sure your foot has left the ground before you let go of the skate. That's the one thing I have. All right, so the second trick on this list is called the banana. It's when you point your toe up and throw your back skate or your front skate out in front of you. I like this trick because it's one of many that show that the skates aren't attached to your feet. The tip that I have for this one is make sure your knee is locked to ensure that there's no give on the skate and that it'll stay upright when you throw it in front of you. So the next trick is a 180. Pretty much goes without saying, it is shifting from going goofy to regular or going regular to goofy. And there's four ways to do this, front side, back side for each regular and goofy. We have a great tutorial for the 180 where Jeff Milling teaches you everything you need to know. Links below. The main tip that I have is when your back foot is coming forward, make sure it's passing under you and not around you. You don't want to accidentally do a carve because that's just going to slow you down and that's not the point of a 180. Next trick on this list, it's not really a trick, but it sort of is. It's riding switch. This one is pretty annoying to practice because it's everything you thought you knew about the free skates but flipped. Although annoying, it is super important to learn because you can do things like riding away from a 180 or just riding backwards. Super valuable to learn to ride switch. My tip for riding switch is just like when you started free skating, find that gradual hill and pay attention to what pointing your toes in and out will do to your skates because it's gonna do the opposite to what you think. You just need to break through that mental barrier and the more you practice it, the faster you're gonna be able to ride switch. Speaking of riding switch, trick number five is a throwback 180, which is when you throw the skate behind you, do a front side turn, and you're riding switch. So ideally you wanna know how to ride switch before doing a throwback, but it's not entirely necessary. For the throwback, the biggest thing is make sure your shoulders are turned before you do anything, because then you can see the skate and just lift your foot up. Don't kick it, just rotate your shoulders and let go of the skate. The sixth trick on this list is one that I'm not so great at, it's the toe flip. A toe flip is when you hold the skate out in front of you, press down, pull back, and then let it do a flip and stomp it back down. Jeff made a great tutorial on the toe flip. I'll link it down below. The tip that I would have is grind the toe flip out while stationary and not while moving, just so you can get a feel for what the pop is. Um, and once you get that, figure out how to compensate for your motion while riding. Trick number seven on this list is the 360. Goes without saying, you just do a full turn. How I started practicing this was doing two 180s. It is a broken 360, but it kind of gets you in the feel for what that 360 is gonna feel like. The one problem I was having with the 360 is I would bring my foot forward for the 180 and then try and keep wrapping it around my body without moving that other foot. So remember, when you finish that first 180, that other foot that's not moving needs to continue around you and both feet need to do a 360 at the same time. And that's my tip for the 360. All right, trick number eight is riding one foot. Now this one is another that you just need to grind out, whether it's your front foot or your back foot, you kind of just need to pick one. This one takes a while, but the more you practice, you're gonna get the hang of it. And the tip that I have is you just wanna barely pick up your foot and focus all of your weight into the foot that's riding, but don't lift that other foot all the way up because that's gonna topple you sideways and that means either falling back on your back or falling forward on your face. That's no fun, so definitely remember to keep the foot that's in the air down low. Trick number nine is the Tokyo. Now this one for me was pretty difficult to get. At first I thought my legs were too big to cross each other and that there was no hope for me and I could never be flexible enough for it. But the unlock for me was remembering to move my other leg. And what I mean by that is if I'm doing a Tokyo and I'm trying to cross my back foot over, you need to remember to also move your front foot back so that your center of mass stays in the middle as opposed to leaving your body behind and just crossing the back one. So if you cross them together, make sure you bend your knees, grind it out. Eventually you're gonna get closer and closer to getting that Tokyo and eventually get the Tokyo throwback or throw forward. Tutorial for that is linked down below. Trick number 10 on this list is the kickflip. 
The kickflip is notoriously inconsistent, or at least for most people in the beginning it is, because it's such a fast trick and it's hard to dial it in. From experience, I would say this one comes with time. It took me over a year to get it remotely consistent. That might be different for you, but with the kickflip, I would say my main unlock was thinking of it as rolling the wheel that it's flipping on. So it's always flipping outward. So this blue wheel right here, I'm putting pressure and at the same time it's pushing down, I'm rolling it outward. And when I say rolling it outward, you really have to kick hard so that the skate stays in one place and keep your foot close to the skate the entire time. More details in the tutorial down below. And that brings us to the end of the top 10 most popular tricks on free skates. Hope you got something out of this video. If we left a trick out that you'd like to mention, leave it in the comments. If you liked the video, drop a like and click on one of these videos up here for more free skating content.